Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily can create something of a dash movement or a dash feature. Now as you know from game design and game development and playing games, dash is basically the ability to move forward very quickly and cover that sort of a short distance in a rapid time frame. So it's something that you see in action games, it's something that you see in RPG games, in a range of titles, you'll see the ability of characters to do a dash on command and then move forward, cover a short distance in later, almost a blink of an eye. However, it's not something of a teleporter, it's more of a very high level of speed in a very short amount of time, but over a relatively short distance. Now how you can create the same thing in your Unreal Engine level. As you can see I have my first person template here and here I have my character and we're going to go into the character blueprint to create the same dash structure. So find your first person character or third person character and go for the edit first person character. Here you'll get your standard setup and in the event graph you can create the dash node or the dash structure which continues and will continue to work through a number of nodes. So first of all we're going to add the actual input. So to do that simply type in keyboard and you have your keyboard events. I'm going to choose let's say one as the dash command. Now you can also do that through the whole setup of adding uh, in your project settings a new input, but I'm going to do it like this because it's shorter and easier. So from one key part number, I'm going to add another node from pressed, which is called launch character. Here it is. And this is the node that will move the character. But now with that node, I also need to define how that movement takes place. To do that, I'm going to add another node and it's called get actor forward vector. Here it is. And from its return value, which I'm going to connect to the launch velocity, I should only type in this, as you can see, the asterisk, and choose vector asterisk float. Scales vector A by B. Here it is. And not, I'm not going to connect that, I'm just going to connect it to launch velocity. And this is basically everything you need. But now I have to define how much launch velocity or get actor forward vector to the launch velocity I want. And I'm going to start with 1000. And let's see how does that look in the game. First I need to compile, save, and then go back into the first person template. And here we have it. So let's go to this part of the level. And now I'm pressing one. And as you can see, there is that launch velocity, there is that dash, but it lasts for a long time. So my dash would be basically to move a lot further and a lot faster by tapping the same keyboard pad. Now to get more of it, I'm going to place this to 5000 and I'm going to disconnect this, not add another node, I'm sorry, and do the released option. So again, compile, back to the first person character, here I am, and when I release my button, I get that dash. And as you can see, the whole setup is there to create kind of the dash forward movement and then end it. It's a simple setup. It's really easy to 
create, as you can see, it's just a number of these nodes that are combined that create that dash. Of course, now the dash, if you want it to be a true dash in your game, has to have some tweaking, especially you saw it, there are moments when the dash continues that relates to how the pressed and released works, but also how the launch character is defined in terms of time and how the time create, creates that process of either having the illusion of having a dash or speeding up the character who stays in that setup for a prolonged period of time. This is a really raw, really basic and simple definition of a dash mechanic, but it works as you saw. And from there on out, you can now tweak things, add things like delays and stuff to try to get that just right amount of dash for your character. When you do that, you have the whole setup ready to go and be implemented in your game. So there you have it, a simple dash mechanic that uses launch character, get actor forward vector, and this additional node that allows you to create the same process and add it to your level. So there you have it. Thank you so much for being on this video. If you'd like to support me, there is a bunch of ways how you can do that. First and foremost, there's my Patreon page. If you have a buck or two to spare per month, I would love to get that buck or two from you each month. And that would be really, really awesome. But if you don't have it, there are other ways how you can support me. You can buy my books on Amazon. You can send me crypto. You can send me funds through PayPal. But there are simple and simplest and easiest way to support me is to basically subscribe to my channel and be here for my new videos. Again, that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ivica and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye.